New at 630, melanoma is the deadliest form of skin cancer and can be difficult to treat, especially if it spreads. But as Dr. Maria Simber explains, doctors are now using something rather unconventional to treat it. Paul Kirsch had a melanoma removed from the back of his neck. Years later, a lump appeared under his arm. The cancer had spread. Of all the skin cancers to get, this is sort of the one that you wouldn't want to get because this one has a, a bit of a bad attitude because it likes to spread places. Paul, a former Marine, wasn't discouraged. I'm here, fix me. We didn't want to have any treatment that made him sick or symptomatic. He has no pain. He has no symptoms. With lumps of tumor in other parts of the body, Paul was a good candidate for a new treatment, an injection made with a herpes virus to attack the tumor. A virus that we know a lot about, a virus that they can manipulate with genetic engineering techniques, and a virus that if things went bad, uh, they would have a treatment for. What you think about getting a, an injection of any kind in an armpit? and it kind of gives you the shivers a little bit. The virus enters only the melanoma cells and kills them. It also releases immune system proteins to boost the body's fight against the cancer. It's like getting a vaccination shot. It is, in, it actually, it is a vaccination of sorts. It treats not only the lesion that you've injected, but much more importantly, usually, uh, are the lesions that you can't see. Paul will have the treatment for six months. I've had nine injections. Every other week I get the injection. There's no yep. side effects, absolutely none. It can take months to see results. He started in November. The site of the tumor was about as big as an olive. Now it's smaller than a raisin. He's had no insurance issues. Some of these things are fourteen, fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars. I'm astounded by what the what the charges are for all this stuff. And I didn't even have a copay. Paul and his family are thrilled with the results. When you get to be 87, longevity is a big thing. He'll tell you, I just have a little touch of cancer. He hopes his experience helps other people. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.